skincare in my own opinion and in the opinion of so many people is supposed to be a form of self-care welcome back to my channel my name is Tolu Lokwe in case you are seeing my face for the first time welcome please don't make it your last by subscribing below and also turn on the notification bell because what this Why does every time I upload a new video that being said in today's video we'll be talking about something very juicy some of you might even get hungry but then I am still going to talk about it and these are overhyped over promising overrated skincare products and devices that you do not need because these products and devices cause more harm to your skin rather than helping your skin if that's what you're interested in or you want to know about these products or devices so you stop buying them or if you already have them you stop using them sit back relax and enjoy the video don't skip any part because i promise you these skincare products and devices is going to improve your skin a lot when you stop using them. And the very first skincare device or two that we'll be talking about are the facial brushes, both the manual and the electric one. The, I think they call it clarisonic brushes. I'm going to put a picture up here so that you get an understanding of what I'm talking about. These brushes are not good for your skin because they're always too harsh. The texture is always too hard for your skin. Even when the texture is soft, for the electric one but when you turn on the power the pressure it applies on your skin is too harsh it's too tough for your skin especially when you have pimples or acne on your face when you use this on your facial skin it gets your pimples or acne inflamed which makes it bad and also spread it to other parts of your face because you are not in control of where the brushes go when it's doing its thing another reason why i would advise you stop using facial brushes is it get, makes your face get red because you are applying a lot of pressure i've used it in the past guys trust me for the ones that i'm guilty of i'm going to let you know i've used it in the past because i thought it will help with my skin texture but over the time i noticed that when i use it my face gets red it gets irritated when i put product it gets um it gets there are some tingling feelings that i feel that i don't feel when i don't use those brushes so that's the very first one that i'll be talking about you need to stop using the facial brushes and if you already have them please stop using it and if you are thinking of getting them please do not waste your money use that money to get a sunscreen instead without so much talking let's move so the second one that i'll be talking about following closely to the facial brushes are the silicone ones so these are like flat patches with very rough faces that people use in in their own defense to us to open up their pores so that their cleanser enters i would advise that you stop using these things or even the brushes because what this does is it just gets your acne in flames it, it, it gives your skin texture and at the end of the day it ends up causing more harm making your skin red than it's supposed to do so i would advise that you use your fingertips in applying your cleanser or skincare product use your fingertips the creator knows that there are so many reasons for our hand and that's why he has given us our fingertips so what i'll just advise is before you use your cleanser on your face ensure your hand is very clean before you use it before you use your hand to have to apply your cleansers on your skin so guys just dish the silicone so the next one i'll be talking about but before we go into it guys please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel in case you have not done so already so the next one i'll be talking about is a product and that will be the charcoal mask skincare in my own opinion and in the opinion of so many people is supposed to be a form of self-care that is the time that you the time that you have for yourself to apply your skincare products to take care of yourself to take care of your skin so that you appear as your best self every time you step out but then this charcoal mask i've used it once in my life and this is the very first product that i i threw away immediately after my first use so this are i'm going to put a picture up here of somebody that have it on because i can't remember taking picture of my own because i was in so much pain so what it does is you apply the face mask on your face because he said he claims that actually that it helps in minimizing the oil production the sebum on your face so you apply the face mask but guys the problem with this face mask face and uh, charcoal face mask is when it gets dry and you are trying to peel it off guys you are practically going to cry i know if you have used this product before you are going to 
agree with what i am talking about so drop a comment in the comment section if you have used the product before and you resonate with what i am talking about it's so hard to peel off like you get to be in so much pain and why are you causing yourself pain i don't care if it works or not but i'm going to advise you that skincare is supposed to be a form of self-care and you shouldn't be going through any form of pain if you are trying to reduce your oil production there are other gentle products in form of cleansers in form of toners in form of serum that you can use as against to using charcoal face mask so if you have one or you are thinking about one please abort mission this one is a very controversial one but hear me hear me out these are shea butter and coconut oil if you have a very oily to combination skin i would advise that you don't use shea butter and coconut oil on your facial skin because what this does is it clogs up your pores and this is how you start developing acne and other skin issue however if you have a very dry skin shea butter and coconut oil might work for you so guys if you have very oily skin and combination skin please just do away with the coconut oil and the shea butter personal i know i have spoken about this on my channel before and the next skincare products that i will not be buying for my face are facial scrub so in case you don't know you have to exfoliate your skin at least one to two times a week so that you get rid of the death dead cell and your cleanser and other skincare products can adequately penetrate into your skin which leads us to the different types of exfoliation we have to is either you do the is either you go through the physical route that is using facial scrub coffee scrub whatever kinds of scrub you want to use and the chemical one is when you use chemical exfoliants such as salicylic acid glycolic acid and the very mild one lactic acid so what happens is i noticed that when i use facial scrub my skin feels good trust me it feels good after using it but then what i then notice is when you are using a facial scrub a chemical physical scrub you are not in control of how you move like even if you think you are going very gently but because of this scrub I have rough surfaces that could be sugar that could be salt or coffee there's a way it goes on your skin that it gives your skin very very tiny tears i think they call it micro tears in the skincare world this is why i stopped using it because i noticed that when i have these tiny tiny tears and i put on my skincare product i feel some kind of tingling on my skin and also at the end of the day i notice that i don't have a very smooth surface that i want for my skin so what i then do is i stopped using the physical exfoliant and i started using chemical exfoliants such as salicylic acid glycolic acid i use this in play in, in, i use this to replace my physical exfoliant and since then i've stopped having the issues of micro tears so this is why i said this is very personal to me so the skincare product that i will not be buying for my face is physical scrub for my body i still use my body scrub i know there's a particular one that i recommended to you guys and is this turmeric scrub i'm going to put a picture up here in case you're interested in buying it it's very cheap it's very up so thank you for sticking with me up to this point and because you are still here i know i promised you five i'm going to be giving you an additional point with me up to this point and the other skincare products that you shouldn't be applying on your face especially are diy products the cooking stuff the honey the turmeric the ginger guys we are in 2022 stop doing this to your face you are not a chemist you are not a dermatologist you are not a skincare uh, composition or what compo i don't know what they call them that is you are not into skincare you don't know the right amount of products you don't know what goes into what so guys let the kitchen stuff be in the kitchen let them be used for what they originally meant for use your honey to sweeten your tea and not put on your face because you don't know the right composition yes we all know honey is good but then honey for your skin has to be stepped down with other skincare components and not just to be applied on your skin in the natural state so guys do away with the diy products do away with all the kitchen stuff let them remain 
in the kitchen and with this i have come to the end of this video let me know in the comment section if you enjoy it let me know in the comment section if you have other skin videos or ideas that you want me to talk about and i am going to get into it them one after the other and with this i've come to the end of this video thank you guys for sticking around with me i love you guys so much stay fun.